Hello, my friends. Has anyone ever been to the hospital before? I hope not, but if anyone has a little brother or a little sister, maybe you can relate to this story. This one's called A Visit to the Hospital. Mommy took Abby to visit Dr. Lyon. We have an Abby in our, in our classroom. He looked at her tonsils. There's Abby. She's a bunny, it looks like. Mmm, very bad tonsils, he said. I shall have to take them out. Meet me at the hospital tomorrow. On the next day, Daddy drove to the hospital. Abby waved to the ambulance driver. Ambulances bring people to the hospital if they have to get there in a hurry. Nurse Nellie was waiting for Abby. There's Nurse Nellie. Mommy had to go home, but she promised to bring Abby a present after the doctor had taken her tonsils out. And she's kissing her goodbye. Nurse Nellie took Abby up to the children's room. There she goes. Roger Dark Dog was in the bed next to hers. His tonsils were already out. Your tonsils are in the back of your throat and sometimes they get infected and they have to come out. Look, says Roger Dog, no tonsils and he's opening his mouth really wide. He was eating a big dish of ice cream. Mmm. Nurse Nellie put Abby on the bed. She pulled a curtain around them so no one could see what was going on. Why, she was helping Abby put on her nightgown. Dr. Lyon peeked into the room. He told Nurse Nellie he was going to put on his operating clothes. He told Nurse Nellie to bring Abby to the operating room. And there's Dr. Lyon. And there she is being wheeled into the operating room. Off to the operating room they went. Dr. Lyon was waiting there. Everyone but the patient wears a face mask in the operating room so that germs won't spread. And there they go. Dr. Lyon told Abby that she was going to go to sleep for a little while. He said she would stay asleep until her tonsils were out. Dr. Dog put a mask over her nose and mouth. She breathed in and out. In an instant, she was asleep. When she woke up, she found herself back in the bed next to Roger's. Her tonsils were all gone. Her throat was sore, but it felt better after she had some ice cream. Woo-wee! Abby saw her mommy arriving in the ambulance. Oh my goodness. Abby thought her mother must be in a hurry to see her. Hurry, they're saying, and there's mommy lying on a stretcher. I wonder why. Let's find out. She waited and waited, but mommy didn't come. At last, Dr. Lyon came. Your mother has brought you a present, he said. He took Abby for a ride in a wheelchair. <gasps> Look at where they're going. They're going to the nursery. I wonder what the present is. There's Abby in her wheelchair. And there's Mommy. What's she holding up? Or there's the nurse holding up a baby. <gasps> there's your present, he said. It is your new baby brother. 
Your mother just gave birth to him here in the hospital. Then they all went to Mommy's room in the hospital. Daddy was there, too. What a lucky girl she was. She left her tonsils at the hospital, but she brought home a cute baby brother. But remember, very few children receive such a nice present when they have their tonsils out. And there they all are together. He looks just like me, don't you think? <laughs> that says what Daddy said. The end.